Yep. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I'm at home. You know why? Because people don't know how to pick the days because they're not from around here. Here I am putting some uh, jerry can gas in the boat for tomorrow. Today is Friday. Yes, it's been off and on rain. I believe it rained, hell, yesterday it rained and everything. But basically, wonderful. Wonderful weather. You know, pretty much for this, typically this time of year. So here it is, Friday, and I'm doing zero. Well, not really zero, as you can see. I'm putting some gas in the boat with the Mr. Funnel. And yesterday I got all new bearings. Shut the hell up, you pieces of shit. I hate this guy next door with these goddamn untrained pieces of crap dogs. He's got a beautiful dog. Never barks once. You know why? It's cared for. Not like these. Well, either way. Went and got all new bearings in the trailers yet in the trailer wheels yesterday. Because if you remember, this is the wheel that fell off. So I'm basically on the six month program now. I told my trailer guy, Randy, who is the man on Mayport Road, Wilson Trailers. I told him I said I'll be back in uh, April. So I did that and I'm filling up some gas because of course tomorrow it's supposed to blow 15 to 20 knots and 15 knots on Sunday. So that's when I'm going fishing. I'm not going fishing when, look at there, there's my palms. Barely, not even a, a twig moving. And I look up at these giant palm trees. So I'm not, I'm not fishing when it's nice. And that's always been my stereotypical, um, what do you call, default answer. In the, in the fall, I always tell people, you know, they go, how come you ain't fishing today? And I go, well, number one, you didn't give me a $100 deposit. Number two, it ain't crappy enough. So what am I doing? Well, it's getting to be that time of year when I am burning sinkers like matchsticks, folks. So let me show you what I got going on. Got my lead pot here. This is my little uh, Lee 10 pounder pot or something. Let me pull this scum off the top here. Okay, this is how we pour our sinkers, pour our sinkers, pour our sinkers. This is how we pour our sinkers on a Friday morning. And I watch other people on YouTube with the same pot. And this thing, no matter what you do, will always drip. And I'll show you here what we're going to be doing. In case you just don't know how to pour your own sinkers. Yeah, if it's that much of a mystery to melt lead, put them in molds. <laughs> I'm a little too hot. I'm burning my lead, so I'm going to back her off now. Got this little dial that goes 0 to 10. All right. When it starts getting this purple on the top, your lead is way too hot. See how it's turning purple? First it turns gold, then it'll turn purple. Here's a bunch of old sinkers I'm not using. I got these goofy things. I hardly use twos. I don't use these. I hardly use ones. That's a one. All right, so let me get some light. That's a one bank. Uh, all my banks are unlike these. That's a traditional bank. That's a one. All my banks look like this. They're flat. 
I like the flat ones because why? I have the do it molds. Here's my do it molds. They're down here heating up on this propane. This is a uh, six eight. I'm preheating them, and this is a three four five. I don't use fives much, so I've got my fish cooker. Here's my ladle for my big, uh, my big pours. Here's my pot, right? And it makes these big, these big giant ingots of lead, and then of course my propane tank. So I'm preheating these. So let me see how it's dripping. It'll drip even more. Right here's the spout. That's the lever. So uh, let me uh, hitch up the old GoPro Hero 4 sessions here and show you how it's done. Eye protection always definitely gloves. Have a rag handy, handy even. I mean, if you got a little hot pot, Lee hot pot like this, just an old spoon, comes in handy. Let's don our PPE. And I'll show you. Okay, here's five, four, three. You close the mold up. Do it molds are 100% um, like, I guess they're standard of the industry, but at the same time, these are the best molds, really, when it comes down to it, that are, that are um, production molds. So I marked four there, so I just know. So that I can tell this is preheated, goes in to this little spigot right here, and you stick it down underneath the pour, and you lift the handle, and lead will pour out. And I'll even get this as a little more close up. All right. I'll get this as a close up. And you stop it. There, it's going to drip. There it goes. It dripped. And now here's your sinker. So then you bust open your mold. Give it a little rat a tat tat. And there is your four ounce sinker just as shiny as it could be so then there's this thing called the sprue that's called the sprue and this is hotter than hell but i'm going to do it and your sprue just bends right off and i take my sprues and of course stick them right back in my pot so that's how easy it is. Let me see if I can get even a closer shot for you here. Well, this camera, of course, doesn't have a the little camera that I'm using. It's my Hero 4. It's my favorite GoPro of all time. It doesn't have a viewfinder. I'm hoping you all can see the little spigot down there. And then what you got is this lever up here that you just lift and it has a little plunger you stick your mold and you hit the spigot you lift the plunger and you fill up that mold cavity i've had to clean the bottom of this a uh, little hot pot many times so there you go just like before see it drips it always drips I watch a lure guy sometimes and he uses lead to fill the lures and his drips too. So this is how fast, if you want to get into production, you can make these so fast, right? I can make 25 or 30 of these. If you've got the lead in absolutely no time. And then the next question is, well, Dave, where do I get lead? Well, you can buy bullet, clean, soft bullet ingot on eBay, ingots, and they will ship it to you, U.S. mail priority, so they can ship in a big box up to 70 pounds for whatever. 
Uh, there's a lot of bullet guys out there that are reloading. And look how fast I'm doing this. All right, there's three sinkers already. Okay. And you can buy lead or you can do like I do. I scrounge. The old saying is, I never met a cast net that I didn't like. I see cast nets stuck on rocks or something like that. And what do I do? Oh, God dang, there's the phone. All right, that phone's calling. Hold on. All righty, that was a totally worthless telephone call from somebody who wanted to get on the boat, I guess, this weekend, and they're calling on Friday um, for this weekend. And he told me, well, you know, we typically don't plan ahead. Well, there's your first problem right there. I'm not an Uber driver. See how fast this goes, folks? Now, what I'm going to do is I start adding little sinkers. Don't stick your face in there when you're adding sinkers because these sinkers aren't hot. And your lead could pop. All right, see that thing dripping? So you add, start adding some sinkers here. All right, keep your face. I got a fan blowing. Keep your face away from your lead pot unless you want to, if you're a child bearing age, if you sit here and suck up a bunch of this lead fumes, then you may have the perfect Aquaman child might have webbed fingers or something because breathing this lead isn't good. I personally have a fan across my garage here and have it blowing this direction. That's how you do it. There's the amount of sinkers I have made just in a few minutes to include that one. And I still have my propane down here heating up my six ounce mold. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'll pour you a few sixers. Yes, six ounces. Six ounces to hold the bottom in the mighty St. John's River. There's the six, six, eight. All right. So you want to always heat your mold up. If you don't have a propane like I'm doing to heat your mold up, what you can do is very simply take your mold and place it on top of your pour pot here. Okay, look how long it takes to fill up a six because the spout is only letting out just so much. And keep your sinker inside your mold. Let it sit. Don't pop it out right away. Let it sit. If you don't have these preheated, but you can preheat them by taking your mold because it's aluminum and you can sit it on top of your pour pot while you're melting your, your old lead or your new lead that you got on eBay or whatever. Okay. So see this one doesn't look fantastic, but it doesn't matter what they look like because we're just going to burn them. Let me add a couple more stankers here. Oh, let me dig. You get a lot of uh, dirt as you as you put in your lead. The dirt will not melt. So you got to go in here and you want to get all that dirt out. You take some of your older sankers, drop them down in there, or your lead. You can buy lead shot and lead shot will melt very fast, okay, versus block, 
But then it's how much do you want to spend, right? And you take your sprues and you bend your sprues off because that's already a nice clean piece of lead. I don't recommend cutting them off. Just bend them off because that's what they're made. They're made just to bend off like this. Look how clean that sinker is. This is not difficult at all. You can get everything that I'm using right here, right on something like eBay. You can get it on Amazon too, I guess. No, I won't be putting all this probably on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. I don't think so. It's not something that I'm purchasing over and over again. This is a bigger expense to get started. But if you do, like myself, a lot of bottom fishing and lose a lot of sinkers, then it's worth it. It may not be worth it for you. There's a lot of people that a lot of this stuff is not, that I do, is not worth it for them because they're not doing volume. And that's how I keep my sinker trays full because I lose a lot of sinkers. So there you go. There is a beautiful six ouncer right there. So thanks for watching. This has been a little bit of, hey, it's a beautiful day. And Dave's standing in the garage. But it's okay because I am doing something on a Friday morning that is very useful and get it out of the way. So I'll see you on the next one. Leave any comments, suggestions, uh, rants, raves, or whatever in the comments below. And don't forget to read other comments because you know what as i always say do you want to learn the meat and potatoes sometimes there's a lot of meat and potatoes located inside the comments section of videos on youtube farewell and fair days and fair fishing did i mention you're supposed to really use soft lead not hard lead Hard lead's a whole different deal because it's got some other mixtures in it. You know, wheel weight lead. Wheel weights are really made out of hard lead, not soft lead. So, cast nets, stuff like that, where you can recycle. I cut the leads off, the bottom of old cast nets that I find. Found one at the boat ramp one day. Looked like it was brand new, but it was ripped to shreds because some guy threw it right over some rocks because he didn't know what he was throwing on. And uh, that's what you want to do. You don't want to use wheel weight lead. That's all. Everybody talks about, oh, using wheel weight. That's all. You can do whatever you want. I don't care, but I only use soft lead. I don't know if I forgot to tell you that. And I got a neighbor, so I got a bunch of lead off of him. So you also do some scrapping and scrounging.